So by the time I set up everything, it is already getting dark. So I put my Skywatcher GTI mount, plug this telescope right here, right? So, so this is the app. It is going to let you connect to the mount directly. So if you saw my Celestron Astromaster 130 video, you saw like I was using like the manual controls for the mount. So I've been thinking to change from a manual to a go-to mount. So I've been looking for a go-to mount and there isn't any go-to that is actually cheaper to buy. So every one of them is extremely expensive. So the mount that is uh, cheaper as well as easy to carry around the one that I found was the Skywatcher GTI mount. I think this mount lets you connect through the mount Wi-Fi with your cell phone. The second upgrade I'm planning to do with the Astromaster is, I think the name of the company is Swiboni and they have a SV305 camera, which I haven't used this camera yet. And it will take fantastic pictures of moon, planets, even if you are trying to do a deep uh, space objects, I think it will be very good. I'll put a link in the description. Check it out. I think uh, I've been waiting to use this combination and this mount took for a while. Uh, nothing is getting shipped easily from uh, the other countries. So I did a single star alignment with Sirius. I need to learn a lot with the Skywatcher mount. I think the Wi-Fi is pretty cool controlling using cell phone. I'm pleasantly surprised with the Swiboni 305 camera. It has the same sensor as the ZWO ASA 290, uh, which is $200 more expensive. So this one is set at a price of $149 and the ZWO ASA 290 is like $369. So yeah, it's a pretty good deal for the price. So it is letting you take like 10 minutes exposures. So it's good for planetary and deep space objects, but the sensor is like so tiny. So don't expect a huge picture coming for your deep space. Uh, but certainly if you do have a go-to mount like the Skywatcher AZZTI, I think you can take a you know good look at a deep space object, maybe take a few minutes of exposure and you can share and that will be pretty cool. I'll post more videos as I learn more about this mount and the camera and also the updates on the telescopes. So stay tuned. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for watching.